Welcome to the Flight Readiness Review for Autonomous Aerial Vehicles at Virginia Tech. Over the next 20 minutes, we will provide you with a brief overview of our UAS and flight testing to ensure that the system is mature enough to compete in the 2023 SUAS competition. Our team operates through a collective effort of eight undergraduate students majoring in the fields of mechanical, electrical, computer, aerospace, and general engineering. Although all members play a critical team role, the competition team will consist of three operators. James Drozdick has been on AAV for two years, is the team lead, and will be the safety pilot at the flight line. Finn Rowley has been on AAV for two years, is the autopilot and electronics lead, and will be the ground control station operator at the flight line. Jonathan Ryers has been on AAV for one year, is the structures and propulsion lead, and will be in charge of payload systems at the flight line. Now introducing Jaeger, a custom quadcopter aircraft featuring fully autonomous flight, precise air delivery of multiple water bottles, and an onboard imaging system. Throughout system development, our team has emphasized the importance of testing, safety, and reliability to ensure that all devices on Jaeger are ready for flight. Jaeger was designed and developed for optimal performance for the package delivery mission synopsis given by the 2023 SUAS competition rules. In order to remain competitive at the 2023 SUAS competition, the system needed to be upgraded to adapt to the more challenging payload delivery criteria. Please pause the video to review the table on screen that details each mission task alongside the team and system requirements that align with such tasks. In order to achieve all the requirements set forth, the team knew that weight reduction and flight efficiency were key factors in the design process. Targeting a system capable of carrying multiple water bottles and traveling 12 miles at an average mission speed of over 30 miles per hour, while ensuring that the ODLC and airdrop systems are rigorously tested to ensure reliability. Custom designed quadcopter capable of long range flight while carrying multiple payloads. Due to travel restrictions, the design was limited to a maximum aircraft dimension of 1200 millimeters. To minimize the effect of crashes, each component of the UAS was designed to be easily detachable for troubleshooting on the flight line. This minimizes the amount of time spent rehabilitating Jaeger after an unexpected crash, thus allowing for increased flight hours prior to competition. Although Jaeger is only carrying, capable of carrying two water bottles at a time, our team is confident in its ability to perform well during the mission demonstration. Jaeger's imaging system consists of a GoPro Hero 7 Black that is connected to the HeroLink air unit, providing real-time video feed to the ground control station at 4K and 60 FPS. In order to ensure that the GoPro Hero 7 Black would be able to resolve objects of this size required by the competition, a DJI Mavic Air was flown at various altitudes to collect imagery. This allowed for the visualiz visualization of several object resolutions prior to the purchase and integration of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Live streaming the video feed down to the ground operators removes the need for any onboard image processing algorithms, as it allows for the manual detection, classification, and localization of all objects. Once the appropriate object has been localized, Jaeger will then autonomously navigate to the point and conduct the appropriate delivery process. The team found that although this manual ODLC process requires an additional operator, it greatly reduces the probability of a failed airdrop attempt due to a poor algorithm performance. In order to complete the airdrop task, Jaeger carries two onboard winch systems, each holding a respective 16.9 ounce water bottle to be safely lowered to the target below. Unlike a fixed wing, Jaeger is able to hover above its drop location and deploy the water bottles with no airspeed. This removes the need for any approach needed to determine the optimal drop time. To further minimize the effects of wind and drag, the bottles are always delivered from 80 feet above the ground. The delivery mechanism consists of a custom-designed de custom winch and release system. The bottle is secured directly to the bottom of the craft by a servo-controlled release mechanism. The mechanism is designed so that if the servo fails mid-flight, the bottles would stay securely mounted to Jaeger. The winch on board Jaeger is composed of a BILDA2000 Superspeed Continuous Servo that has been paired with a 60mm radius pulley and 80 feet of fishing line. This results in an approximate descent rate of 5 feet per second, resulting in a total drop time of approximately 15 seconds. Through the use of the HeroLink air unit and pilot controller system, Jaeger is able to combine its te telemetry, transmitter, and ground control functions into a single compact device. The estimated range for the HeroLink system is over 12 miles, with higher range values being reported by replacing the stock antennas with directional antennas. But operating at 2.4 gigahertz, the HeroLink system is also capable of performing reliably during operations around structures or other obstructions. The range and throughput allows for a reliable pipeline of communication between all ground operators and Jaeger, with data mirrored to a laptop running QGC for GCS support. The base airframe consists of four arms, two center plates, and two landing legs. In order to maximize strength and minimize weight, the airframe is primarily composed of carbon fiber with aluminum reinforcements at high stress concentration locations. 
Jaeger's electronics are contained in between the bottom and top carbon fiber faceplates, with the exception of all components related to the payload system on board Jaeger. At a takeoff weight of 7.15 kilograms, Jaeger has a minimum thrust to weight ratio of 2.24 to 1 and is capable of traveling at a max horizontal speed of 55 knots. Please pause this video to review the aircraft metrics shown on screen. Before constructing the airframe, multiple static and dynamic loading simulations were conducted to ensure structural integrity. Using SOLIDWORKS, our team was able to quickly conduct multiple simulations and analyses that led to the finalized airframe design. Several carbon fiber plate thicknesses were tested in an attempt to minimize the airframe weight while maintaining a minimum FOS of 1.5 to 1. Fatigue stress was also calculated using an alternating von Mises approach with a fluctuating load from 0 to 4.5 kilograms, the max, the max thrust applied onto a singular arm by the propulsion system. Through this testing, the airframe weight was reduced to 850 grams with a minimum FOS of 1.75 to 1 and a near infinite life cycle. The propulsion system on Jaeger was chosen based on its fulfillment of requirements set forth during the mission requirements analysis. In order to reach optimal efficiency, the propulsion system was designed using low KV motors paired with large propellers. Thus, the propulsion system is composed of KDE 4213XF360 motors, KDE XF UAS 55 ESCs, and XOAR 1865 carbon fiber propellers. The aircraft will be powered by a 6S 25 amp hour LIHV battery pack that is capable of providing 15% more energy than the 6S 22 amp hour LiPo battery previously used on AAV aircraft. This allows for an extended flight time and results in a theoretical range of 13.5 miles at a cruise speed of 45 miles per hour, while ensuring 20% battery reserve. After comparing all commercial autopilot systems, our team observed that the Cube Orange was able to fulfill every autopilot requirement and provided other benefits such as native support for experimental crafts, internal heating, and triple sensor redundancy. Its open source nature also allows for external software manipulation and competition of tasks such as ODCL. Our team's past experience with the platform also lowers the risk of user error when integrating the platform into Jaeger. In order to maintain precise and accurate location data, an external HEAR3 GPS module is connected to the Cube Orange. This allows Jaeger to perform reliable waypoint navigation with a variable waypoint accuracy as high as 3 feet. In terms of autopilot software, Arducopter's open source nature Ability to communicate with a GCS, base obstacle avoidance features, and autonomous flight functions made it the optimal choice. Through the combination of these systems, Jaeger is able to perform reliable autonomous takeoff, navigation, landing, and payload delivery. The station consists of a laptop with external displays and a HeerLink transmitter system. All communication between Jaeger and the ground flows directly to the HeerLink system, which then mirrors all of its data to the ground laptop. This mirroring occurs over a wired connection to increase communication reliability. The laptop is loaded with cute ground control and allows for ground control of Jaeger and any data and visualization needed as per the rules. All obstacle avoidance of other team aircraft will be performed on a visual basis. If any ground operator deems a collision risk, the GCS operator will reroute Jaeger's autonomous flight plan to ensure minimal collision risk. In most scenarios, this will result and Jaeger climbing to an above altitude at 400 feet and hovering until cleared to continue the mission. Design of the current airdrop system. An alternate design was made for the payload deliveries via a parachute system. This design used a bottle-sized tube to hold the payload during flight, as well as a pin mounted to a servo to release the bottle and parachute. The team decided to move away from this system due to inaccuracies of drops on the target from the desired altitude. Furthermore, maximizing safety and minimizing risk was critical when designing Jaeger, specifically in regards to the payload deployment system. Dropping the payload at too great a speed proved to be a large risk and something we immediately decided to make a top priority during design and testing. Hence the change in direction away from a supervised follow system and more towards a stable descent system proved to be not only an increase in the accuracy of the payload system, but also minimized the overall risk associated with dropping. In the 2022 SUAS competition, the team thought it was in the best interest to continue to use the system as opposed to designing a new system from scratch. Still suffering from COVID recruitment fallout, the team decided to focus heavily on teaching new members on a system that was already proven to work, as opposed to having new recruits attempt to design a new system from scratch. 
Unfortunately, this came with the downside that Jaeger was not designed to carry the entire payload weight of five water bottles, as this was not the task it was initially designed for. Our team hopes to build a system for next year's competition that can fully meet all the goals of the competition. In order to ensure the safety of all personnel, strict guidelines were set in place prior to the development period. In order to gain access to the lab and all the tools held within it, each member was required to take an extensive training course that lasted approximately three hours. After completing this course, the members were briefed on all the safety risks posed by the development and flight of UAVs. At all times, a safety lead was designated and kept all necessary safety equipment on hand, such as the fire extinguisher, safety glasses, lipo safe bags, etc. To mitigate the major developmental risks, individual component testing was also conducted on all items before their implementation into the UAV. In order to mitigate the safety risks posed by Jaeger, all personnel are required to stand at least 15 feet away from the craft in flight. As a large multi-rotor platform, Jaeger poses many safety risks during its autonomous flight and testing. To mitigate risks associated with the craft's proximity to others in flight, each flight always begins with a debrief to ensure all team members are aware of the craft's planned mission. At all points of the mission, a safety checklist is periodically consulted to ensure that the UAS is cleared for flight and reacts predictably during all stages. The table shown on the screen outlines a subset of the specific mitigation strategies developed to minimize risks during testing and flights. In the following section, we will demonstrate how this testing has proven that Jaeger is mature and safe enough to operate at competition. In order to test and improve Jaeger's image collection and processing system, numerous test flights were conducted where Jaeger attempted a competition-like scenario with mock objects. This included practicing the manual imaging technique previously mentioned in order to become acquainted with the exact needs of Jaeger. By monitoring the image quality at several altitudes, the team found that hovering at approximately 80 feet resulted in the highest image quality resolution of approximately 2.5 centimeters per pixel. The airdrop system has been tested in numerous flights on board Jaeger. The results of the 15 attempted deliveries show that the water bottle lands with an average accuracy of 7.2 feet from the target with 90% of deliveries occurring within 10.7 feet. Independent of the delivery accuracy, the bottle survived in all tests and ground personnel felt that no risk were posed during the bottle's descent. In terms of communications testing, the range on the Herelink system was tested up to one mile in order to assure steady communications throughout all phases of competition flight. This range was limited mostly due to the line of sight operational requirements necessitated by the FAA. With less than 5% packet loss and constant transmission, the Heerlink system suffered no loss of communication throughout all phases of flight. The aircraft was tested in several flights with both mock and actual payloads. Since the flight stabilization of a multi-rotor is tightly connected to the autopilot performance, many of the initial flights were designed around tuning the autopilot performance. Once the base stabilization was tuned, Jaeger was flown for approximately 5 hours throughout all testing across more than 25 flights. No in-flight failures, crashes, and things falling off of the aircraft were observed through the whole session of testing. Many of the base flight performance requirements regarding angle of climb and turning radius were easily achieved due to the multi-rotor nature of Jaeger. This resulted in most of the focus being placed on ensuring Jaeger was capable of achieving the 12-mile distance when fully loaded. Mock payloads were initially used to prove this capability, where Jaeger was able to achieve over 13 miles of flight range while flying a square pattern where each lap represented one mile of distance. Upon landing, Jaeger's battery level always equaled more than 20% remaining, which provides a good buffer for performance loss due to high winds or large altitude changes. All systems were further inspected following the flight to ensure that the components were not being stressed during flight. Jaeger's autopilot was initially tuned through a flight specifically designed to tune Jaeger's PIDs by using rapid in-flight movements of different aggression levels. Throughout this tuning process, Jaeger was outfitted with a 1.5 kilogram mock payload that emulated two bottle delivery systems and the onboard imaging system. After being tuned, Jaeger spent an additional 75 minutes in the air dedicated to autonomous flight testing, with no manual intervention required at any point. Overall, over 100 waypoints were attempted, with all waypoints being hit with an average accuracy of 20 feet. Although a higher accuracy of 3 feet is achievable and will be commanded during the delivery process, the waypoint navigation accuracy was tuned to be just below the 25-foot mission requirement to allow for Jaeger to carry through speed through waypoints. This allows for increased flight range and minimizes the mission time. 
The team has never tested its process with other aircraft posing an actual collision risk. Instead, simulated aircraft were injected into our map and the ground control station operator conducted manual avoidance through the map view. Once instructed of a collision risk, Jaeger quickly climbed to the maximum altitude of 400 feet and hovered until clear to continue the mission. This resulted in an avoidance of a collision throughout all flight tests. Two full mission tests were conducted with Jaeger in competition configuration. A distance of 8 to 10 miles were used to duplicate the maximal range required for waypoint navigation. Air delivery was conducted over a runway that matches the terrain depicted in the boundary area given by the competition rules. Five objects were spread out over a similar sized area for replication of the ODCL task. Only three operators were used during both mission tests. Through the tests, we were able to ensure that all fail-safes and algorithms were operating as predicted. The flight personnel were also trained for efficient usage of the 15-minute setup time at competition. During the two mission tests, total mission scores of 58.22% and 58.92% were achieved. No penalties were observed in both mission tests, the main variable scoring aspect being the slight scoring difference for the timeline of tasks between missions. This variability is expected at competition and is dependent upon the exact waypoint distance and time required to conduct the airdrop task. All other tasks were scored identically between both mission tests. Since Jaeger is only capable of carrying two bottles at once, only two bottles were delivered in both of these missions. With both bottles being delivered su successfully, if the team deems an adequate time remains after delivering the two bottles, we may opt to conduct a repeated mission with two additional bottles in the remaining time. During the mission demonstration, we plan to score equal to our average mission test score of 58.57%. The following videos cover the requirements for proof of flight piloted by James Drozdick, our safety pilot at the competition. Only one instance of Jaeger exists, hence only one instance for, of each required flight will be shown. First up, the manual flight takeoff leading to a thousand feet departure and returning for a landing. Next is the autonomous flight 200 feet away from the safety pilot, transitioning into manual flight mode and then landing. And finally, the third flight shown will demonstrate that the drone can complete all of the flight performance requirements, including a takeoff and landing. These flight performance requirements consist of a 12 mile fully loaded flight, waypoint demonstration with max error of 25 feet, turn radius of 150 feet and boundary condition demonstration, angle of climb and descent within required bounds, altitude check of 75 feet when 200 feet away from the runway. Throughout the season, our team has worked diligently to create fully custom UAS dubbed Jaeger. With this ability to perform autonomous flight, airdrop, and ODCL, Jaeger has been designed and developed around the elements of reliability and redundancy. Numerous flight simulations and tests have ensured that Jaeger will perform well in the mission demonstration and is ready to safely participate in the 2023 SUAS competition. We look forward to competing in June and showcasing Jaeger's capabilities.